Uh, but we're going to take a look uh, tonight at my uh, my new current designs uh, aisle, uh, my new tripping boat that I bought. It's uh, an 18 foot Kevlar kayak. So if you want to check it out, I don't know if you can see in the background there. We got this uh, the blue boat. The whole thing weighs in at about 50 pounds. So. What I'm going to do is basically tonight, I'm going to uh, spend a bit of time making the deck a little more versatile. Okay, so basically to give you an idea of what I did here, we added a uh, two pairs of bungee cords. Our first bungee cord, I stuck this piece of, uh, I don't know, plastic tubing through a double, double braided sort of bungee cord. You will have to excuse uh, some of the devices I have uh, to keep my dogs from digging like an old cushion here. Um, my little guy digs, he's scared of couch cushions, so where he dug, I put a little old couch cushion and he doesn't dig. Anyway, so what we have here basically is a roller slash riser. So what we're gonna use this piece for is if we have to slide the paddle in in a hurry, it puts distance between the deck of the boat and the paddle so that all the way along the paddle doesn't really touch um, the edge of the boat. It will scratch a little bit, you know what, you can buy a bag for that, but hey, a piece of plastic pipe I had laying around the house is easy. The other thing too is with this new um, rigging system they have, the all you have to do to open it is drop that little piece there. So as you're moving your paddle around the boat, it's very easy to drop a piece, or at least I would think so. They say it's not, but I have no idea. So it puts a bit of space between here so that you can run your hands behind the paddle and hopefully the paddle is less likely to knock that tab off of the latch system. Even if you lose one or two, that hatch is still going to stay on, but you'd sort of immediately have to find a place to, uh, to get her back to normal. And you'll usually keep your paddle sort of in that position there, so you can still do a roll with the paddle you're using. We have it all the way along. Alright, so we've also added three, one, two, three, bands around the back here. So two of these are going to hold the uh, pool noodles. Uh, basically what that's going to do is provide a platform for the kayak to sit on. If I ever land on something that's kind of rough or uneven or rocky, uh, something that's going to basically bust the bottom of the boat. She's pretty much unbreakable, but if you scratch it up a whole bunch, you know what? You can't really fix it uh, unless you want to add tons of weight. And we have a uh, another orange band up here, and that's just basically going to be to uh, clip things onto. Nice big cockpit there. You can see the paddle holder uh, here in the front. Uh, so you can strap it to any one of those bands. I may actually add a couple of more bungee cords there. I'm not sure yet, but up here, as you can see, we've got the double bungee cord system. The one on the bottom uh, is secured around the, uh, the mounting bracket there. Hopefully this is gonna be a good modification to uh, keep that paddle secure. <laughs> 